happy birthday to me. This was a birthday present from my mom, actually, but I'm going to unbox it, even though it's not quite my birthday. I like the color. Is that red? Got it. That's cool looking. Ooh, it's almost like a berry red. It's an egg shape. It's the color. I wasn't talking about the shape. It's an egg shape. That's so cute. <sighs> It's a charcoal smoker and grill. I have a smoking stone for it to do indirect heat. That's cool. And there's the ashtray. The bottom of it. That's really cool. We'll have to see what it looks like when it's all fired up. What are we gonna cook first? Veggies? No. Yeah. No, we don't cook veggies on it. Yes, we do. No, if, we don't. If you're me, you cook veggies. No. We're going to cook some ribeyes. I'm really surprised actually how many pieces this comes in. I thought it was gonna be assembled in the box, so now you're gonna get a time lapse of me assembling this bad boy. But this is my birthday present again, and I can't wait to cook on it. But it is a, what is this, a char griller? Yeah, Junior, Acorn Junior. So let's get a time lapse of me putting this thing together and see how long it takes. everything put together now it took I don't know 45 minutes not too long but it's actually really nice got the cooking surface there and then they give you a little lifter so you lift up the top like that that's really cool but yeah charcoal space down there it is I guess ceramic inside but it's really cool looking wood handle um doesn't get hot i guess but yeah we're gonna see temperature gauge you got two draft um whatever you call it baffles or yeah we'll see we're gonna cook some steaks on it in a few days i just wanted to assemble it and see what it looked like and make sure there wasn't anything wrong with it but it looks really cool i can't wait to cook on it i haven't cooked on charcoal really ever and everyone says it's really good so i want to try it but yeah birthday present to me. All right, so you saw the unboxing of this and we put it together. My new charcoal acorn junior. Yep. And we're gonna try this. I'm gonna make some steak and shrimp and stuff, maybe a veggie kebab. And this is the first time I've used charcoal probably in the last 10 years. So this could be interesting, but we got some Jack Daniels charcoal. You're in only our... 30. We haven't used charcoal in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be part of that video with the unboxing the assembly this is going to be our first cook with this it's not really my birthday yet my birthday's not for another 10 days or so but i can't wait you're still older than me and it's it's mother's day so we're going to do our first cook with this and give this a try so let's get this bad boy fired up we got our charcoal chimney we got our jack daniels charcoal which we will see how this is this was, I was only like five bucks. It was on sale, so I grabbed it. I actually grabbed two of them. Oh, sweet, it does. Nice. It comes with whiskey barrel smoking chips. That's fun. So I read with these, with this little guy, you really only need like four two to three, two to four pounds of charcoal. So we don't even need hardly any of this. This is eight pounds. So we need like three pounds of charcoal, which that's probably about it. So we're gonna give that a try. But got our fire starters. We're gonna light one of these guys underneath it and let it start to burn. Get our charcoal ready. So just that little one fire starter does a really good job. And 
it's already lit. You can see the charcoals are now lit in this little chimney. So now we're gonna let them get nice and hot. We're gonna pull the grate off and dump them in. And then uh, we'll let this get up to three or 400 degrees at least before we start cooking on it to let it burn off for a little while. But yeah, it's looking good. Charcoal is, oh yeah, definitely lit now. Definitely lit. Oh, that is so cool. It looks like it looks like a jet engine in there almost. Alrighty, so we got the coals ready to go. I got the grill off. Again, you gotta get yourself some fire gloves. But I'm gonna dump the coals in here. You can see how white hot they are already. This has only been like 10 minutes. So now we're gonna get this fired up enough to the point where it cooks off all the crap that's on it. So let's get this going. All right, I'm actually gonna add just a tiny bit of charcoal. Now that that got hot, I'm gonna let some new charcoal, cause we're gonna do the first burn and get the crap off of it. We're gonna add a few chunks of charcoal. Alrighty, so we got everything up to temperature. We did the initial burn off 300 degrees. Already threw on a little veggie kebab and some asparagus and got some of that whiskey barrel smoking chips in there. We also have a little bit of shrimp and two pretty small ribeye steaks. So first cook, that's not bad. And we're using some holy cow from Meat Church. I can give that a try. All right, so we got the first kind of test articles, I guess you could say. That looks great. A little bit of surf and turf, a very skinny steak, very thin. It's supposed to be three quarters of an inch thick. It is nowhere close, but uh, it's like a less than a half an inch but whatever it's still gonna taste good okay so the shrimp is really tasty but we got the other set of stuff on and we're gonna let this cook while we eat all right so i got the steak done like i said these are so thin it's pretty hard to get them perfect but that's about a medium well i usually like about a medium medium rare but i'll take it not too bad shrimp's almost done as well over there but first cook i really like that grill it it does a really good job welcome back everybody so i'm going to wrap up our video here on our smoker uh, unboxing first cook and kind of a mini review we'll see um i wanted to give it a little bit of time i've cooked on it several more times since i really really like it it's very easy to do um the charcoal does taste good so i like that more uh, next thing we're going to try is using the stone and doing some smoking with it so that will be fun. I haven't tried that, but we did cook some chicken wings on it, um, did some uh, sausages and some other things. It was good. So overall, very happy with it. I think it was pretty easy to put together. I think um, it's very well built that I can see. So we'll see how it holds up over time. But um, I hope you liked the video of us cooking some shrimp and steak on it. And I'm sure this will make an appearance in some of our other videos. Uh, in just a couple days, we're going to be back with some normal, regular traveling content, and I hope you guys stick around. Thank you for joining.